here I'll show you how to do an insert for the clothing okay. so what we need is uh, an image of the outside of the clothing here and the inside of the clothing okay. first thing we need to do is we're going to uh, drag this uh, image here from here to here by pressing control key and dragging it here to here like that okay so next thing to do is I'm going to lessen the opacity of this layer here or the uh, the inside image to maybe 50% so I can see the background and I, I can uh, put this layer into place or this image okay so like this I hit the control T button to so I can rotate this thing like like this and put it into place okay uh, uh, yeah, like that so I'm going to hit the enter button now there let's turn this back to a hundred percent and duplicate our back on the layer by hitting Control J on your keys, Control J, and put this layer in front like that. Okay, so what we need to do next is we're going to remove this area here, and which I'm going to use the pen tool, which I find easier for me to do and faster, faster too. Okay, so any method you like will do. If you want to use Eraser tool or marquee or something like that it's up to you what's important is we need to delete this area here okay so I'll continue with my clipping path One good thing about clipping path is that the curves is looks really good. So pen tool or uh, let's say clipping path is used by many. After we've closed it, I'm going to right click in this area here and make a selection and then delete it like that. Next thing to do is I'm going to uh, adjust the brightness of this layer here by hitting Ctrl L, Levels, and adjust the brightness so it'll blend with, with the image. button if I'm satisfied with it okay next thing to do is we're going to uh, make a shadow so it looks more re realistic okay so I'm going to make a new layer here a blank layer and I'm going to use the brush tool black and 100% opacity so just draw a shadow here like that draw a shadow 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 like that and change the shadows opacity into maybe I think 15% uh, like this okay looks good here I'll show you uh, a finished product of what I did earlier here I removed the background and I retouch it looks good it's ready to go and
have fun guys